If you're trying to figure out what a real estate investment is actually worth and using a real estate financial model to do that, using Goal Seek can be a really quick and efficient way to come up with your valuation. But how do you actually use the Goal Seek function in Excel and when is it useful? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. If you're trying to solve for a specific IRR, equity multiple, or cash on cash return requirement for a real estate deal, using Goal Seek can be a great shortcut to finding out what that valuation actually is. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use Goal Seek in an actual real estate financial model so you can solve for your valuation without having to test a bunch of different values. So in order to use the Goal Seek, surprise, surprise, we need to actually have a goal first. So the first thing is to decide what are your investment return targets and what are you actually trying to hit? Then once we've decided on that investment return target, we can use Goal Seek to figure out what the exact purchase price would need to be in order to hit that return, whatever it might be. So what we're gonna do is jump into Excel now, go through an example of this and how you would actually use Goal Seek to figure out a valuation for your deal. All right, so now we're in Excel and what we have here is a very basic model with some basic cash flows here and we have some assumptions that are going to drive our investment return metrics. So let's take a look at our investment return metrics. So we have the unlevered IRR and what that's really saying is that this is the IRR without debt on the property. We don't have any sort of debt on the property based on these cash flows. The unlevered equity multiple, which again is the equity multiple without debt and the average cash on cash return. But say in this scenario, we have a goal that we wanna hit a 9% unlevered IRR. That's our target, that's what we wanna hit, and we wanna figure out what our purchase price needs to be in order to hit that 9% IRR. Now what we could do is we could keep playing with the purchase price and try to figure this out manually, and that will eventually work. But Goal Seek is a great way to allow you to shortcut this process and find the answer that you're looking for really quickly and easily. So let's use Goal Seek to see if we can solve for a 9% unlevered IRR by changing our purchase price. So to do that, what we can do is hit Alt A W G. And when we hit Alt A W G, that brings up the data tab and then the what if analysis, and that's going to bring up our Goal Seek option. So Excel is going to ask us for three different things. The first is we want to set a certain cell. So what we really want to do here is set our unlevered IRR, so cell B16 to exactly 9%. So what I like to do here is set this to 9.0000% to try to make sure there aren't any rounding errors, although oftentimes Excel will have a little bit of rounding error with the goal seek function. And this last piece is we need to tell Excel what cell we need to change in order to make this a reality. So we need to make sure this is a manual input, which it is, and that drives the model, which it is as well. And so we need to set this equal to B10. So now when I hit OK, what Excel is going to do is run through a bunch of calculations and try to find the exact value that's going to give us a 9.00% unlevered internal rate of return. Now you can see that the target value is 0 0.09. The current value is 9.06%. So it doesn't always give you a perfect exact value, but you wouldn't end up offering 11664000 $216, it would be more of a round number. So let's see if we change this to $11,700,000. See how that changes. We still have a little bit of room, so let's change this to $11,715,000 and see if that gets us there. And that's exactly 9%. So Goal C can be a really quick way to solve for a purchase price that hits your specific return requirements if you're trying to figure out what a valuation is for a deal quickly. So there you have it. That's how you use Goal Seek to figure out your valuation really quickly and efficiently for your next real estate deal. Now, if you wanna learn more about real estate financial modeling, I'd love to have you in our free three-part real estate financial modeling crash course. And again, you can grab that for free in the link in the description below if you want to learn more. So if you like this video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.